and it was cold in the winter and it was hot in the summer and I couldn't use it. So I said, if I'm going to do any kind of art, I need to do it year round. So I had it insulated. I had some guys come and insulate it. So I have insulated garage doors. And um, the, this, the, this was open like garages are. They, you know, they're not, they're not finished generally. They're not painted. They're, they're put um, drywall on them and things. But anyway, so there's a lot of insulation up here. Um, and I have a heater and a cooler. So I keep it at about 65. And so I can come out here and work all winter um, with, with the jacket. So, yeah. Anyway, so this, you know, I just, I like to have my shop organized. Well, it is organized, but it's still, you can't have everything. Well, well, when I start making a project, I just turn into a disaster area. Just throw things here and there, and like, oh, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. And then when I'm done, and the piece is finished, or even before that, then I just start picking up all of the stuff and putting them all away. Right. So anyway, that's what I, you know, that's my process of, of things. And so I've been looking for things for my videos, and I found some things in here. So that was good. So over here, this is where I paint. This is where I paint my, with my metallic paints. Um, I have some sand somewhere. I use sand. In your painting? When you paint? Yeah, I put sand in it. Here's my sand. <laughs> this, this sand came from southern Utah. I have several different kinds of sand. This is a very beautiful orange, obviously. Um, very it's not real fine sand it's sand it's you know sand is fine but this is some of the more coarse sand that i that i found down there so that's what this is i just paint it and then i drop i'll paint you know i'll paint and then i'll just pin, take a pinch of sand and drop it on the wet paint and it becomes a part of the piece. Um, first, I, I, this is my homemade black gesso. Here. Yeah, that's good. And so all of these have to be gessoed first because if they weren't, the, the paint wouldn't even stick to them. This, this is all the metal shavings that came from those plugs that when I when I took the magnet and picked up all those plugs all these metal shavings came up with it so I just kind of scraped them off and I can put these I can sprinkle these on here and spray them with my patina that makes them oxidize and they oxidize also so oh, cool they become part of that paint um, here's some of my iron oxide, my oxidizing iron paint. It's just goopy. Um, <laughs> kind of stinks. Yeah, it, it smells like a, a foundry. That's what it smells like. Okay, let's see. Like a foundry? Yeah, foundries, foundries smell bad. Foundries. Was it do iron work? So this is the rust activator for the iron paint. And it turns it orange and yellow and brownish. 
and some of it, you know, depends on how much. How long does it take? Sprayed. It takes about 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah. And here's my copper. And here's my bronze. And that's just one brand that ha that has oxidizing paint. And these are the patinas. The, the blue and the green. It's funny because the blue patina is green and the green patina is blue. <laughs> this blue spray turns it green and this green spray turns it blue. The, um, the, the copper. Can you do a piece in like one hour or like oh, one day or I, two weeks or how long does it take to do a piece? Well, it depends on how much I work on it. If I work a lot on it, then I can do a piece in a couple of weeks. <laughs> it takes me a long time. And besides, that's not all I... Like right now, I haven't even eaten breakfast. <laughs> it's already what time? Ten? So, um, I worked on some pieces that I'll show you later that took all winter. They were just horrendously difficult to decide. A lot of it is decision making, and I've realized that art is about making decisions. Am I going to put this here? Am I going to put that there? What am I going to paint it with? There are so many options. but once you commit or once you decide that deciding is the hardest part but once you decide then you really have to commit to that because it, it's a commitment but you can always change it and that's how my art is i can take it off i can paint it a different color i can completely remodel it which i i've done that with two pieces i've I remodeled the ship from a sailing ship to a steam liner, and um, I'm remodel remodeling a piece right there. Um, I can record so, it in a minute. Um, it takes me a long time. I have to wait for paint to dry. I have to do all sorts of things. I have to take things apart in order to use them. I have to, like this Guitar Hero thing. The Guitar Hero, in order to use it, I have to take all little screws out. and um, So, I know that one of my big ships, my six foot, my seven and a half foot ship, called I Spy, took 80 hours. That was tough constant, I didn't constantly work on it, but my ship took 80 hours of wow. time. Right. And That's cool. So you want the next piece? Yes. That's a work in progress. It won't look like that. Did we already do this one? No. Um, it won't look like that, but I just put things on and I take things off, and that's why I have such a big mess. I'll put something on. To see if No, it it doesn't look good this way. It looks bad that way, I think. It needs to follow the line. And I have another one here that I that I didn't paint. That that looks actually good right there. So I don't know what it's going to look like till I, I put them on. And this could actually be like a yin-yang. Ooh, cool. Kind of a yin-yang. Yeah, I, I had to strip the top. It looks like this. Even though that looks nice, it won't work. Because you have to strip it to... Adhere anything to it, Yeah, right? to, yeah and to make it look... Um, 
uniform. And, and this is how you do it, stuff. with a chisel, huh? Well, I haven't used generally, but here's all the stuff I scraped off of it. <clears throat> this is water-based, so it's not poison. It's not going to kill me <laughs> like some of the other stuff. But with this one, I had to use a chisel to scrape it, and this had glue on it that I had to scrape off. The outside varnish or whatever it was came off, but the, I don't know, it wasn't probably glue. See, it's still coming off. Like but it wax. would not, I could, it wouldn't come off with my water base. Thinner, thinner. Um, no, it's, it's stripper. Anyway, it's, it was really tough. And I'm not even going to strip this. I'm just going to fill it, put, put stuff in it. I'm just going to fill oh, it with right. stuff. Anyway. Cool. 